Hi there. After understanding uh, a few techniques from the risk analysis, we are going to go further in this analysis. And when we have uncertainty, what sort of tools we can use to make the decisions. Uh, one of them is known as Maximin and the other is Minimax in their short form. And we are going to do them with the help of some numerical values. Before we go ahead, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And you may also click this bell icon so that you get the latest updates. So now let's delve deeper into this topic. We're talking about uncertainty, which is a reality. And uh, whenever a managerial economist has to make the CMs, the uncertainty puts him in a situation where he doesn't know and he cannot estimate the probability of the occurrence of each specific outcome with certainty. So in this uncertainty, uh, there are two rules that are devised to make the decision. Um, and for that, what we do is, uh, in the absence of the probabilities, we have these two tools that we deploy. One of them is known as the maximum criterion, and the other is known as the minimax regret criterion. So one by one, we can discuss them. Um, the first thing that we know is that we are unable to have any probability value because of the high level of uncertainty. So in these uh, values, you won't see any probability value. We have been using probability values before for finding the expected values, standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. So if we focus on one, the first of these two uh, criteria, the uh, first one is known as maximin criteria, which seems like a mistake in the spellings of maximum, but it is not. It is basically the portmanteau of uh, maximum and minimum. So in this process, we will have minimum as well as maximum. How we can do this, let us see. Uh, in, in simple words, this is the best of the worst. Best, max, minimum, worst. So uh, the simple procedure behind all of it would be that we will uh, extract the worsts more than one. That is, in this case, we have two. And then we will choose the better of the two or best of the all. In this way, uh, we are not either estimating nor overestimating the situation, the outcome. Because we are choosing the minimum of the two. And then, and then from those two minima, we are going to choose the maximum. So it means that both sides have been covered. If we choose both of the maxima, it means that we will be overestimating. And if we choose both of the minima, we will be perhaps underestimating. So this saves us from uh, overestimating this desirable situation. And that desirable situation is the return. So now let's come to various uh, lines that are written there. So the first thing would be that we extract the worst possible outcome of the each strategy. And then we choose the uh, best of the two worst outcomes. So in the next step, we'll do the maximum thing. So let us see how we can do this with the help of this example. This is the strategy. This is the state of nature. And there are two strategies that we have as a managerial economist to invest in the business or to avoid investing in that business. The next thing is the state of nature, success and failure. Um, in the state of nature, that is the surroundings, maybe the economy or any other situation in the overall environment is towards the success or the failure. So uh, this matrix will help us to choose the uh, first of the two strategies in the first step. So the first strategy is what horizontally placed. And if the uh, success is there in the state of the nature, then there will be a profit of um, for $40,000. And if the situation is not desirable, then the investment will um, put, in, uh, put in some sort of loss, which is $20,000. So in both of these, the worst is this, that is the loss instead of this profit. So minimum from the investment strategy is minus $20,000. So this was the first strategy row wise. And now we have the other row, which is the other strategy, do not invest. And if you do not invest, no matter the surroundings are desirable, there will be no return. And even if the uh, return, the surroundings are uh, undesirable, again, there will be no return. So minimum of these two is zero. So we choose the value zero as the minimum of the do not invest strategy. So now uh, we have solved the situation horizontally where we consider these strategies, the worst of them. And now vertically, we can decide that which one of them is uh, better of the two or 
best of the two. Best we can use when we have more than two outcomes here, we can say better of the two. So, um, best of the two or better of the two, more precisely and grammatically correct, is zero because minus 20,000 is a major loss, whereas this is no loss, no profit situation. So, this is known as maximum choice in which we consider the maximum of the minima of the two strategies, which were these two, out of which zero is maximum. So, in this case, it is adjacent to do not invest strategy. So, in this environment, it is better for the manager not to invest in this uh, business. And this is verified with the help of the maximum criterion. So, this was the first criterion in which without probabilities, we can make the same making. And then we have minimax regret criteria. Uh, you can already guess that it is something reverse because in maximum we had profit and in this case we have a regret. By regret we mean something which is undesirable or the loss. And here we have minimax. It means that it is going to be minimum of the two maximum. So with this let us uh, come to the next thing. So we have uh, this uh, matrix that we have developed. Uh, there are basically two steps um, and it is slightly more uh, elaborated than the previous matrix. It basically allows us to select the strategy that minimizes the maximum regret that is the opportunity cost of the wrong the same. So we are not considering the profit in this case or the return. We are considering the opportunity cost or the regret and we are choosing the two maxima from the two strategies and then we are going to choose the minimum out of them so that both maximum and minimum flavors are introduced and our analysis on the basis of this regret or opportunity cost is neither a law, uh, an overestimation nor an underestimation and uh, regret is basically measured by the difference between the payoff of a given strategy and the payoff of the best strategy under the same state of the nature. This can be understood with the help of this table. Again, we have these familiar uh, values and uh, this now is bold as well as this one because in uh, this state of nature of success, this is the maximum value and in the other state of nature that is failure, zero is the maximum value. So in this case, as we know, we will extract the two maximum values and then we will do further calculations. So what we will do with these maximum values is that we will subtract the two strategy values from it. That is 40,000 minus 40,000 and here 40,000 um, will be subtracted from this um, success with the other strategy that is do not invest. Here we can see this that 40,000 is chosen for the first state of nature and here 0 is chosen for the second state of nature. This is 40,000 and this is that 0. So 40,000 minus 40,000 as we had 40,000 here and then 0 it is here 40,000 minus 0 because for success strategy we have 40,000 as the maximum regret and for the failure strategy we have 0 as the maximum regret so here you can see 0 is used and from that maximum regret we have subtracted the uh, failure invest payoff that is minus 20,000 and from this 0 we have subtracted the uh, maximum payoff under failure. And elaborating these two values, maximum payoff under success, maximum payoff under success. This is that. Maximum payoff under success. This zero is maximum payoff under failure, maximum payoff under failure is this zero. So now we have these values that are put in the boxes and these are not the returns, these are the values of regret. As mentioned here, these are the regrets and they are put in this matrix. Now um, we are going to uh, note these values. This is 0, 20,000, 40,000 and 0. Uh, what we will do is that we will choose the maximum regret from the invest strategy because we have solved them vertically. Now we can assess them horizontally. So from these two that is which are adjacent to the invest strategy. In case of invest strategy success will give us this much regret and failure will give us this much of the regret. So this regret is higher. So we will choose this regret because we are choosing the maximum regret in the first stage and then we will choose minimum out of the two. 
Here we have 40,000 and zero, these are the two regrets. Out of these two regrets that are adjacent to the do not invest strategy, 40,000 is the maximum regret. Now with, from the two maximum maximums of the regret, we can choose the minima so that it gets balanced out and there is no overestimation. So this is minimum of the two, that is 20,000, which means that minimum of the two maximum of the strategy is 20,000. And rightfully, we call it minimax regret choice because these are the two regrets or the losses. Now, the decision should be that uh, this is the minimum loss, so we should go for the adjacent strategy which is investment 20,000 adjacent is investment. So, in the interpretation, we can say that the manager should choose the strategy of investing because it provides a minimum regret value of 20,000 as you saw in that matrix and it is indicated with an asterisk as you can see this asterisk is here and it is compared with the other regret the maximum regret of 40,000 and that was in uh, adjacent to the do not invest strategy. So you see that how these uh, two techniques can be used the second one was minimax regret criteria in which we chose the two maximum regrets and then we chose the minimum out of the two and here in this uh, first technique we chose the minimum benefits of the two that is minimum returns of the two and then out of these two minima we chose the maximum so in this way we have this uh, uh, tool a couple of tools in which we can uh, come up with a decision uh, without having uh, the availability of the probability values and for that we have resorted to maximum and the minimum uh, criteria uh, which is very common and easy to use. I hope you have benefited from it. You may give it a thumbs up. Thank you.